Okay, what I'm going to do now is going to be something eh, simple, a little odd. I know there's other ways of doing it. Magnetic mounts actually might even be the best way to go in the long run, but for today, let's get this job done. What I'm going to do is take one of these. This comes from a GoPro. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how they... I know we can peel self this off on this side and it becomes sticky, like there. And then there's this side. It's not magnetic. I don't know. Not magnetic. So these must be replacement pads to go on other mounts. So somehow they would... You don't have to look that up. I really have no clue as to how these get used. It matches that. But if you glued it that side, does it peel off on both sides? Nope, it just peels off on the one side. So then how is this useful? I'll have to look that up someday. But right now it's going to be useful for me because I'm going to take the sticky side off. I'm going to put, just stick the washer. Yum, just to show you. I'm going to stick the washer right in there like that and leave it. Pull the sticky tape off of here. Peel this. Just stick it right on there. It'll match that flex nicely. It seems to be pretty strong and durable. And I'm just going to take the screw and just run it straight through the washer and everything. And that, that should be below the level that it needs to be. And then I'll put it back on and I think I'll be done. And if I'm not, I'm not out that much anyway. And I didn't have to go anywhere and buy anything. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not out anything other than uh, pride in stupidity. Anyway, that's kind of centered. So that's all glued on. Oh, and by leaving the other, t uh, this already had this sort of thing built into it, and I left this piece still on. So theoretically, I should be able to peel this off. Yep, <laughs> don't want to do it right now though. If I ever wanted to have access to it again, but I'll just get some more now. This washer's adjustable. All I have to do is pierce through. Yeah, get my finger. Screw's starting to come through. And put it back on and then I'll be done. Stay. How are you liking my birds? Let's see if I can put a hole through my finger. Oh, gotta reverse it. There it is. Yeah, which way did I want that lining up? I forgot. Okay, so when it's up that way, that is the camera. If it's a 90 degrees, is that what I want? So that. Yeah, that's the way I'm going to do it. It's probably adjustable. Felt the wood give a little bit there. Well, we'll see. Test it out again. Nope, that's not going to work. But I can do the same concept with a piece of wood or metal. And that's starting to crack. Now I'll put a strap on. Or cut it right about here. Okay, so I'm not happy with that either. I'm going to have to cut it, this off to about here because you see a crack going up. Reverse. Gee, what have I ruined here? Now that'll come off. It has a little washer 
stuck to it. That'll come off. Can I actually put this all back together and say, gee, no harm, no foul? As far as I'm concerned. So basically I gotta find something that this will actually stick to that I can screw into there after I cut off the end of this, which we're gonna go do over here. Zoom, zoom. Yep, coming apart. No more crack, so that should be good. So there, I don't see any cracks in the end of that. And can I still reach up high enough? Yeah, I guess should be able to get it all the way up there. I'm gonna quickly go out there and see. Okay, so I just need to be able to stick this onto a piece of metal or plastic that can then screw into there. It won't break. So I'll go look for something and I'll be right back. GoPro turn off. GoPro stop recording. <laughs> 